Hey everybody, I am here today with the lovely Sunny Brooke. Hi guys. <laughs> she is one of my favorite people slash makeup artists and hairstylists. And she also has an amazing YouTube channel and awesome Instagram, so definitely check that out. And today we are discussing my all-time favorite makeup look. Which is eyeliner. <laughs> a simple cat eye. Yes. And Sunny has some really great tricks of how to get that perfect sharp point so it looks absolutely amazing every single time. And to be able to do it really quickly and make both eyes match is the key. Absolutely. Well, I'm super excited about it, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm getting started with Claire's eyeliner, and one of my favorite tricks to making both eyes match is to use normal household scotch tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this tape and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand to make it so it's less sticky so it doesn't hurt when I take it off. <laughs> and we're actually gonna place it um, here next to Claire's eye and that's gonna give me a line to be able to kind of create as a guide for putting the liner on and then making them both match. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah it's a little tricky and it'll save you so much time. Right next to Claire's eye. Just press that in. So that's really gonna create um, a guide for us when we're applying the eyeliner so we kind of get them both lined up. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and prime her lids so that we don't get any bleeding from the liner later. This is also gonna help the liner go on smooth and consistent. And I like to use my fingers for this because it kind of warms the product up um, because it can be a bit hard to get out of the pod. This is like insurance for your liner. <laughs> makes it so it doesn't crease on the top. Um, it makes it last all day long. So now we're ready to do the line apart. And I like to start in the center and then kind of create a basic line and then fill it in more. Just doing little strokes. You can see how the tape is just creating sort of like a barrier. One down. One down. Woo. <laughs> cool. Okay, so then we can remove the tape. Ta-da. Did that hurt? No. No, not at all. <laughs> Taking the stickiness off totally worked. Cool. That's nuts. Right? I didn't even know that that was a thing. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, so to open up and brighten Claire's eyes, I'm using um, a white uh, eyeshadow with a bit of a shimmer to it, and that's just gonna kind of attract the light um, and give her an openness to her eye. So I'm just gonna tap that on her lid. I think it's so interesting that you do the eye makeup before the face makeup. Hmm, because I'm t I was touching you so much with the liner mm -hmm. and then if there's any fallout underneath the eyes, I wanna make sure that that's removed. So I'm really saving myself time by saving the foundation for afterwards. And really, Claire just needs a bit of concealer. She doesn't need a full face of makeup. So this is gonna um, save us time. I'm just pressing that into the lid. I have super deep set eyes, so I really want them to look open and bright. And we're just washing that across and under the brow a little bit. And I like these Dior shadows because they're they kind of have a creamier feel. Sometimes sh eyeshadows can go a bit chalky, mm. which is good for a specific look. But for Claire, I want her to look very youthful and dewy. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in Claire's eyebrows and just extend them a little bit on the end. My eyebrows never show up in photos, so I really want them to like have a moment. Exactly, because they're the frame to your eyes. So we're just gonna brush her brows a little so we can see what we have to work with. 
And then you can see we just need to add a little bit more in the middle and on the end. And I'm mixing these two colors, a light and a dark, to make it look more natural. And using an eyeshadow powder versus a liner um, because it kind of has a, has a more natural look. And just doing strokes gives it more of a single haired brow look. And then I like to take my concealer brush and just go along the top of the brow to clean it up and a little bit under. And that's it, done! Yay! I think it looks awesome. I love how like, pew, pointy the mm. liner is. Mm. And I didn't have to do any cleanup afterwards and that's really because of the tape being there. So it makes it effortless when mm -hmm. you're done, take it off, it's like already done the work for you. I love it. No, I mean, cause for me, when, usually when I do liner, it's just me in a pile of Q-tips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, crammed against the mirror, like trying yeah. to make sure it's perfect. 100%. So this looks amazing. Thanks so much for sharing that awesome mm. tip. And make sure to check out Sunny's fantastic YouTube channel and her awesome, awesome Instagram. <laughs> it's so much fun and so fun having you on. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Well, bye Pleasure. guys. Bye.